Steamworks Consultancy presents Newton's Second Law for Middle Schoolers. This is designed to give you ideas of what the students can do. Materials are pretty easy. It's a ring stand with a clamp and a boss and a pipe insulator cut in half as the ramp. Two meter sticks that form a channel for the marbles to run four marbles of different masses uh, made of different materials and a scale to measure their masses and a table to record the masses. Students set the marble at the top of the ramp and let it go. These are just examples from the different marbles and I will use the, this data in my table. However, students can run these marbles down the ramp five times to repeat the results. This is an excellent experiment for that. So here are the distances traveled by the four marbles, and here's an appropriate title. The, comparing the mass of marbles to the distance they traveled down the same track. Have students summarize their data in sentences, sort of like this. Then have students make a grab mass of marbles on the x-axis and the distance traveled on the y. Then students can write a great conclusion based on their evidence. And this is just an example for you to see. Now students can do an extension. Have them predict what will happen as marbles of different or similar masses bump into each other. These are examples that I've filmed. They should be sure to start each stationary marble at the same spot. Here's the most massive marble and the least. Whoops. Now we'll switch it around. Least massive marble, most massive marble. I always like that. Have students explain what they observed and relate it to Newton's second law. Finally, experiment two. The students should design this experiment with the mass of the marble remaining the same and the height above the earth changing. They'll set up a, ru a clear ruler, tape it to the ring stand so they can measure the heights accurately. They choose a marble, record the mass, run the marble down the ramp at about two centimeters and repeat the trials five times and record the data in the table, something like this. Finally, have students raise the ramp to three centimeters, four centimeters, and five centimeters, and repeat five trials at each height. It would look like this. Choosing the correct map is important. The middle number or median, the total distance traveled, or the mean can be used, and a graph made from the data after it is manipulated, with the x-axis being the height and the y-axis being the distance traveled. Then students can write a conclusion based on their evidence and connect it to Newton's second law. Finally, these are the NGSS standards and it's important that students plan their own investigation. So these experiments are designed for them to start with a pattern and then follow that pattern to investigate. They also need to use mathematics to explain their reasoning. Please check out other videos I've made on my YouTube channel. I have teacher's guides available at Teachers Pay Teachers and you can contact me and any of the sites listed below. Thanks!